Okay, this is my Shorty's storage lumber yard. I have cedar, oak, I have camphor, more camphor, I have hickory, and oak, I have deer horn, I have driftwood, which is all various kinds, but today we're going to concentrate on the camphor. You can see here by my uh, drawing that uh, I've drawn a facsimile of an eagle. And I'm going to cut the eagle out of this log with the chainsaw and begin my sculpting. This is going to be for the uh, library mobile and hopefully it'll turn out right. Wish me luck. Okay. This will be the tail. This will be the left wing, this will be the right wing. I want to make sure I don't take too much away at any time. The center of the tree or the heart is here at this point. So the only thing that's going to be that entailed in that will be the eagle's head. Um, the wings are going to be arched, so I'm going to make several different cuts. Next I will arch it down this way more and I'll show you what I'm doing then. As you can see, camphor has got beautiful grain. The only problem is it has a very strong aroma. It smells like a big vat of Vicks Vapor Rub. It's good if you have a cold. Okay, I've gotten the center part out. Just thought I'd let you see what the inside of the grain looks like. It's beautiful wood. Now my next step is develop the under part of the wing which will come like this and then like I said this will be the tail and then the under part of the wing will come down like this. Now since this is a quarter of a log head will be in this area here. The wings will be shaped to come down like this. It'll be something like this. tail will be here and the head will come out here where the heart is. Just 
legs and the talons will come out here towards the base. I know it's kind of hard to visualize, but each step will show you a little more of what I'm trying to do. Now in Shorty's shop, this is definitely what I call roughing in. You see how I've determined where the wing is. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side. This part right here will be the tail. This part here will be the head. The wings will be trimmed, but I will use gouges and chisels to shape up the rest of it. Can you visualize it yet? Keep watching. This is not an eagle. This is eagle poop. What is left will become an eagle. I don't know if you can see the wings from this angle. Let's see if I can move around. Okay. This is the right wing towards me, the head, the left wing on the far side, and the tail. I'm not shaping the head or the tail or the body or the legs that will come later. I'm going to be doing a lot of banging around with my gouges and chisels and I don't need to get anything too delicate underneath. Once, once it's shaped up I'll show you again where I'm at and we'll go from there. Yes it is an eagle. Okay, now we're in on the bench. A little better light. You can see a little more what I've got. The wings are going to have to be sculptured. The wings that will carry this six foot wingspan of a bird. 50 miles an hour and be able to fly hundreds of feet high. I wish I was an eagle. Anyhow, these tools here, gouges, chisels, my mallet, are going to be my friends for the next couple of days, probably next couple of weeks. And then as we get down finer, I will detail the, each feather one at a time and get the separation and make it look like it's ready to fly. Keep watching. Okay, right now you're looking at the underside of the right wing. This will become the head. This will be the tail. This part will be removed, it will be the body, and then the feet will be down here. The excess will be removed as I get down farther. The wing will be shaped, I'm just getting the contour of the wing right now. And you can see I have got feather lines on there just to give me an idea of what's going on. But all of this is temporary and will be adjusted as I go. I'll give you a little more preview. See how much I've already removed from the one wing. The other wing hasn't been touched since I cut it out with the chainsaw. Keep watching. Okay, as you can see, progress is very slow. I'm forming the head where the beak will be, the bottom of the neck, 
and how it will tie into the wing. Over here is going to be the tail. I haven't done anything with that. That will be sloping down. As you can see in the picture, he's going to be swooping in to make a grab on a three pound bass. Makes me so jealous. But anyhow, I want the flow of the wood to continue making a, a realistic looking animal. I'm doing one side at a time. This side will tell me how the other side should be contoured. All animals have two sides that are pretty much mirrored the opposite side. So between Mother Nature and what I do on this side will determine what the other side looks like. Keep This osprey will be about one quarter the size of the real thing. The wingspan on osprey is five and a half to six feet. Each one of these wings will measure about a foot and a quarter. This will be the head. He's going to have his head down looking at the fish that he's catching. This will be his body. This will be the tail. His legs will come from here and with his talons open grabbing the fish in this area down here. As you can see I've cut away a little bit more. I want to get proportion Now, the thickness of the wings, the head, the entire eagle will be about half of what you see here. It's going to be brought down and thinned out and then the detail will start. The detail will have each vein and each feather brought around where it will look as realistic as I can make it. By the time I get done this 80 pound log will be probably about 10 pounds. But uh, this will be the rough end section of the bird and then I will uh, start doing the detail later. But as for now I'm going to make this into a demonstration film so I can put it on my newsletter 
coming up uh, the 1st of the February. If you want to be on my newsletter, send me your email at shortyshop.tampabay.rr.com at shortyshop at tampabay.rr.com or you can go to my site shorty's old world woodshop dot com and uh, leave me a message there on the um, home page of my site thank you and keep watching this will probably be another two or three days.